Will the polar bears hunt you? Uh, there's always a chance. The goal of these trips is to go to where the frozen ocean ends, because it ends really, really abruptly. So you get frozen ocean to a point called the flow edge, which is where the ice ends and the open water begins. And that's a really interesting area because that's where you get the biggest concentration of wildlife. So you get narwhals cruising along the flow edge, you get polar bears kind of walking along the edge, seals everywhere, lots of bird life. It's it's called the line of life and it's where like the coolest stuff is happening in the Arctic. So when I refer to being out on the ice, I'm, I'm kind of referring to going out over to the sea ice where all the cool animals are hanging out. Hardest animal to get a photograph of? Narwhal. <laughs> that's That's kind of an easy one. So um, when you're out on the sea ice, you're walking around on the ice and whales are really, really sensitive to sound. They can hear what's going on on the surface above them. So unless you're like really, really quiet, they can hear your footsteps. And a lot of these times the narwhal don't like being around humans, so they try to avoid them. So trying to get a photograph of a narwhal is very, very challenging. Um, one thing that I've done is uh, if you stick around a pot of narwhal for a long time, you can kind of check out and start to understand their feeding habits. You notice that they'll go under the ice, they'll feed. And then because they're holding their breath while they're under the ice, they'll have to come up for a breath of air. So you try and find a spot on the sea ice that kind of cuts out at like a V. And the narwhal will typically come up at the you know angle of that V, which is the first place that they can have a breath. So I've done it before where you can get a group of people and if you're really, really still for like half an hour, you can lay on your belly on the side of the sea ice, kind of with your elbows, like hanging over the edge. And it's happened a couple of times that I've had narwhal come straight up and almost blow like straight into your face because they just surface right there. It's a really cool experience because, you know, you're, you're sitting there silent for like 20, 30 minutes, hoping maybe you might get a narwhal, maybe you won't. And then just like out of absolutely nowhere, they just like right in your face it's really cool and then are they gone in an instant or do they like linger for a second gone gone <laughs> Have... they might take like a breath or two and then they're what kind of animals are you generally encountering when i'm down in antarctica the things i love photographing most are the humpback whales they're so cool so usually i'm in my kayak and I've got a telephoto lens, so Sigma 150 to 600, and it kind of just lives like right in between my legs while I'm paddling along. And then if I'm lucky enough to see some whales, it's just a matter of taking it up and, and trying to get some of the, some of the whale shots, uh, which are really fun. Uh, they're probably my favorite animal to photograph. They're just so intelligent and sentient. Sometimes they come up to your, like right up to your kayak and you've got a telephoto lens on and it's like, well, this is useless because now the whale's too close for me for my lens. But uh, they're really cool to photograph because they're they're an engaging whale. They're kind of goofy. They don't they're not really scared of you. Like they'll they'll be more curious than anything. So they're kind of fun. Um, I like shooting penguins while I'm down there as well. There's tons of them. Uh, when I'm up in the Arctic, musk oxen are a really big one. They're just like such unique, kind of prehistoric looking animals that isn't really an animal that you would see anywhere else really on the planet. I love photographing them. They've got this big wispy fur that comes off of them. It's just, they look so beautiful when the wind plays with it. And then obviously the polar bears are, are a pretty big ticket one. They're fun to photograph, but they're also a little bit more challenging to photograph as well. So a little bit harder, but I, I don't know. I like it all. Are they, how do they react to people? I would imagine, are they used to us? Or are they not used to us? Uh, it very much depends where you are, what time of year what else is going on around you? So my favorite time to photograph bears would be on the sea ice in the springtime. So you get bears that they've come out of hibernation a long time ago. They're really, really well fed. There's a lot of seals and seal pups on the ice. So these bears are having like a buffet of their favorite foods around at all times. So they're not really that concerned with humans being around. They're still curious and investigative, but they're not actively hunting you, which makes it kind of a nice time to be out there and engaging with the animals because, you know, you're, you're not as concerned. You're, there's still always an element of risk, but it's a time of year where it is a very um, opportune time to be, to be photographing them. Will the polar bears hunt you? Uh, there's always a chance. If you spend enough time around them, you get to learn their behavior. So you can tell the difference between a bear that's skittish and doesn't want to have anything to do with you versus a bear that's, uh, say, protective of their cubs if they have any around. Or, you know, you get like a big male bear that just is concerned with kind of 
being big and being in his territory. And then you get some of the curious juvenile bears that don't really know what humans are. And they're, they're more so just interested. I think animals are a lot like people. They have a lot of personality and it's uh, maybe not so accurate to like throw big generalizations out. Like all polar bears are like this. They're, they're just kind of like people. Sometimes you get people on good days. Sometimes you get people on bad days. Sometimes you get like really chilled out polar bears and sometimes you get really angry ones. It's yeah, it just depends so much. Thank you.